Hi everybody, your friendly neighborhood registered vet tech and behavior consultant Tabitha here to talk to you about the importance of weighing your cat at home. Purchasing a baby scale, similar to this one, which is also what we use in most veterinary hospitals, and weighing your cat at home is a really simple thing that you can do as a cat caregiver to help advocate for your cat, but also to monitor your cat's health. Weight changes can be really subtle in cats, and we live with our cats, just like it could be hard for my partner to maybe recognize if I lose three to five pounds because he sees me every day. This goes for us and our cats too. You may not notice that quarter pound, half pound, or even one to two pounds lost or gained. And the sooner we recognize that, the sooner we can possibly identify a medical issue or identify that our cats are obese and work on a weight loss plan because weight loss and weight gain can be a pretty big indicator of a medical issue in a kitty. And then also it will help to prevent your cat from getting obese. Another great thing is let's say your cat is obese and you're working on a weight loss plan. I love it by the way, but you want to monitor your cat's weight, ideally weighing them once to twice a week or bi-weekly and we want our cats to lose weight with weight loss plans, but it should be done very gradually and safely because if a cat loses too much weight too quickly, that can cause even more severe medical concerns. And it can help minimize the time you're going to the vet for those weight checks because unfortunately, a lot of cats have stress associated with traveling to the vet and at the vet. So weighing your cat at home can also overall reduce stress when it comes to those weekly or bi-weekly weight checks, especially if your cat is on a weight loss plan. Or let's say your cat is being treated for a chronic medical issue with your amazing vet and the veterinary team, it can be really beneficial to get your cat's weight and keep a journal of the weight with the changes of the medications and diets and sharing that with your veterinarian because based on that weight gain or weight loss with that treatment protocol, the doctor may change up what they're doing and it helps them assess how that management and treatment plan is working for that individual cat. So of course, there's a lot of great reasons why we should weigh our cats, but I wanted to go over also just a few tips to weigh our cats in a stress-free way. So you're weighing your cat at home, which is awesome, but we don't want it to be stressful for you or your cat. So some tips on how to make the scale fun for your cat is first, you want it to be a comfortable place for them. So a great thing you can do is get yoga mats, which I buy in bulk, and you can cut a small piece of it to place onto the scale to, prov to provide a non-slip surface. Or you can also buy these awesome carrier mats that are non-slip that easily fit on the scale. Of course, once you place the yoga mat or carrier mat onto the scale, you wanna make sure to zero it out, again, prior to asking the cat to go on. So you wanna make it comfortable. You don't wanna ask the cat to go on the scale, especially the first few times when there's a lot going on in the house. Let's say your dog is playing chase here. Uh, there's a lot of people over. We wanna start in a low stress, low stimuli environment. And then you wanna pair it with good things. So. Chip knows a targeting behavior as well as a stationing behavior because yay, cooperative care, which I highly recommend looking into. So you could ask your cat to just go onto the scale using a touch behavior. Touch. To be fair, that was very good because the churro is right out in front of your face. <laughs> good job. Or if your cat doesn't know those behaviors, you can just get your cat's favorite treat and use it to lure them onto the scale. So you could do a treat trail. So just a few tiny little treats walking to the scale. Chip is happy to, to be a participant. <laughs> and then kind of casually getting them more comfortable with the scale. Very good job, Chip. Oh, you're a little, you're like, I'm excited. You can also use a lickable treat such as churu and use it to lure them onto the scale like so. And then feed them in place as you get the weight. You go, bud. 
You can also use toys as a lure to get them on the scale. The goal is to, hey, when the scale's out, good things happen. Your favorite treats, your favorite toys. And another great thing that you can do is just leave the scale out in your house. Where do you hang out the most? Because our cats are bonded to us and they want to be where we are. So just like a carrier, I just left this scale when I first purchased it in my living room, just on the floor for them to explore with a nice fleece blanket. I played with them around it. And then we worked on these other steps to have him love, as you can see, you found the true buddy, love going onto the scale.